So now we're going to be doing the trunk. Very, very similar process as the, uh, the hood. You can get your vinyl. Your magnets. We're going to measure. Remember, give yourself an inch of uh, material to play with. So that way you have room for error. So right here, good. You got the blade. And what you're gonna do is pull the material down. Well, stuff is heavy, so I straighten this out. So. Come on, Abby, straighten it all up. Straighten the material over there. Yes, sir. Yeah, make sure we're good length. Uh, straight pull it. There we go. Nice and flat. Pull that over there. Okay, so now find out where the trunk line ends down below. Right there. We can do it right here. Okay, so give yourself some extra slack. Okay. Now that we got our trunk material set, take the magnets off again. Now what we're going to do is center this so both sides have enough slack. You want to inspect your material, make sure you have that extra slack because when you're getting to the hatch portion of the of the uh, wrap, it's going to be very difficult. Not the hatch, the license plate and the corners where the tail lights are. So, and you'll see, we give ourselves about two, three inches here and about two inches over here. More than enough slack to do this job. So, um, I'm going to try a different approach this time. I'm going to take the whole entire material off. We're going to stretch it, lay it down, and then go from there. Make sure you wash your hands <laughs> before you do this okay, part. So he's pulling from underneath. I'm going to immediately get to start wrapping the material or sticking the material to the car. Because this is the easiest, fastest way right now while he's doing that. And you'll notice we're going to get a little bit of bubbles, but we'll get those out right now. You just want to get as much as this stuck to the car possible you know, just don't press too hard with the the felt you just want to give it a nice little little pass through nothing too hard maybe you'll it'll do its job this stuff is super sticky so Thank you. 
Yeah. 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 So what I'm doing here right now is trying to get all the bubbles out. This material automatically uh, will spread air out properly, so you don't have to worry about like um, getting really nasty bubbles. Uh, before you pull, pull, just pull the material in there. You'll see how it's coming out really, really nicely. Okay, now pull more material. Pull the material underneath. Yeah. There you go. Try to get both, yes, there you go. beautiful beautiful this is exactly how I like to do them they come out really nice when you have smaller areas big giant hoods are not the best ways to, to do a wrap I'm not a big fan of hoods I know you have to do it but like the difference is just night and day Simplicity. I mean, we already got almost half the hatch done. Here, full purple. You just see how nice this material just. This is a best case scenario, just so you guys know. I've never done a hatch, I mean a trunk hatch this easy, so this is this is awesome. Done. Pull some more out. You're, you're wrinkling the material here really badly. There you go. Since there's a curve here, you don't want to go 
like this, you want to go like uh, this way so that you follow the curve nicely. Just like that. Okay, we're at the tail end of the top of the the hatch here. Oh shit. Oh no. This is what we mean by mistakes. We're off by we had the material turned too far to the side. Ah, oh, Javi, Javi. Have we hit it with an expression yet? Not that much. Not that much? No, that'll burn. Um. to fix that side by stretching the material a bit and now we have to work our way down from the top to the bottom now and this is where it gets complicated so make sure your material is all not sticking to itself so it does a good job of doing that lines here. So, once you get to the crease of your uh, tail light, you're set and you're going to be ready to cut these out in a little bit. We're going to work our way over. Okay, so now that we have everything here, now we're working our way down. We gotta make sure that this this material doesn't wrinkle. See, it likes to wrinkle, and then that's where your imperfections kick in. And this is where your heat gun's gonna come into play. 
And I'll show you guys. So with your heat gun turned on, and your buddy pulling a little bit, heat it up a bit, and then pull. Heat it up and then pull a little bit down. The heat just makes the material more like mandible, I guess. I guess that's the word you want to use. Or malleable, malleable. So you can form it better. So what we're trying to do is just get to the um, the line that's right here. And you're going to just walk it over, walk it over until you're done. So we got most of the top and middle half of the hatch. Now this is where it becomes uh, what we call technical here. Um, is right here the tail lights. So you need to put your hand, make sure you remove your tail lights and where is the center? A little hole. Okay, a little hole, I'm going to go out a little bit here, a little bit here, okay, that's going to help us start to figure out how much of this material we have to cut out. This is a tail light, so you don't really need to be like, how's the word, um, super clean, you just got to make sure this whole thing gets uh, wrapped, so, because the tail light's going to cover the rest. So, the way that this tail light works, pull the, pull the hatch up, you gotta hold it for me. So this, let's see if I can show you guys, this is good. So we want to cut about halfway in here this is a lot of extra material but it's okay because we want to see where it begins and ends and then we want to wrap it down so Okay, so that's kind of like your, a generic cutout here. So what you're going to do, loosen it all up, heat gun, you want to heat this up and start pushing it down. covering the hole now it's gonna get really tight here 
so it's your knife. Cut a little bit there. And then start pushing down again. Just like that. Now I gotta pay attention because your tail light goes all the way to the end. So we're not really, really majorly concerned about how clean it's gonna be over here. We just gotta make sure it covers over there. So this corner is really, really nice. So we're gonna pull up. Get your hands in there. You got your squeegee. Use the harder end of it to get in there. Get those edges nice and fancy. And see, while you're there, you I mean you can cut off all this access because this tail light covers over here, so it's not a big concern if you're gonna like. Um, run out of material here so you can cut this off over here that way that material doesn't get in the way and all we're going to be doing is just kind of molding this to the uh, this corner now there's a problem here and you'll see right off the bat there's a big chunk well you got a couple ways of doing this you can bring this walk this over to an edge and then cut it out it's not a big deal you're not gonna see it so we can cut this chunk out here Make our way out this way, and then that way the rest of the material has its way to where to go. If this was like a solid piece that you would see, then you would work with the heat gun and walk it all around and, and all that stuff. But you don't have to because this part's not seen by anybody else. It's impossible because it's being covered by a tail light. And then you're just going to heat up as much as you can, to stretch as much as you can. The heat just makes, like I said, it makes the material more stretchy. But be careful because you can burn it and then you'll have a darker spot than other spots in the car. Now, here comes the one very uh, um, spot that you got to be very concerned about is right here because this is, you can see this on the car. So we got to be very cautious when we do this because this is what's going to be seen. So we want to make sure we can wrap this whole corner nicely. So I'm 
this is why we cut that one chunk off so we can play around with this material and these edges. And this is all covered by the tail light, so work with your heat gun, stretch it over, do what needs to be done. But this is a clean, clean corner. You just gotta heat it up. And get it all nice and down. Way over to the to the left. Keep following your lines until you're happy with what you got. I'll show you guys right now the end result, but you got it's just repetitive. So keep going. So like we were showing you earlier, uh, you cut the hole, you know, don't cut it too big, just cut enough so you can cover the area. You don't have to cover this in material if you don't want to. Um, and if you're picky, you can always just put a piece of vinyl, cover it up. Uh, this is not a big deal here. Because this is covered by the tail light, so. And you'll see the, um, the hatch is the same process as the hood for doing the side, so it's not a big, not much for you to teach you there. Uh, same thing on both sides, push everything down. We have to cut a piece off. Okay. And then um, you'll see here we messed up on one piece. It's because the way the material works, it's difficult to. Uh, what's the word? Um, anticipate where the vinyl is going to cut. My mistake was I should have cut, I should have laid the inside of this first and then cut out. But, you know, everything's, it's a lesson learned. This is a license plate, so from here to here is not seen. So we need to figure out how to patch this. So you'll see over here, we got a piece of vinyl and we kind of patched it up. Um, yeah, it's kind of janky, but. You know, it's better than redoing the entire trunk because we don't have enough material. So, but to me, uh, at a glance, it's very, very difficult to tell. I'm happy with the results. I think uh, Javier is pretty happy with it as well. Um, you know, for what, my third or fourth car I've ever wrapped, it's not too bad. I uh, recommend if you ever get nasty bubbles that won't go away, get your blade, poke a super tiny hole into the bubble, and then push the air out, and that'll go away. 
really really big bubbles you, you can do that with it's okay you'll never notice the hole uh, it's all wrinkle here it's okay we're not this is covered by the license plate so it's not a big deal um, so we saved a big piece of material here and this is for patching it here so we kind of rolled it about halfway like that and we're gonna lay it down like that and then the license plate cover goes all the way to yeah we went about to here so just to be safe and how much uh, vinyl we might need so like this like we only need it to to here so we're going to cut the rest of it off and what I do is I try to follow the line as best I can so I'll get rid of this material first that way I can have a little bit more kind of like slack on here so I can figure out where to cut and then cut outwards first and then pull and then lightly just hold the knife down and then push material down and do the best you can to follow the line that, where the other material is at that way you don't have a big seam It's not super obvious that you try to repair this. And don't be afraid to mess it up because you can always redo it if you do. And then once you have it where you need it, get your felt squeegee. Push in, dig in there nice and all deep like. This part's not going to matter because we're going to cut this out. But I'm going to make sure we get as much adhesive so this doesn't retract and look tacky afterwards. So now, get back and try cutting in some more. And then once you get it where you want it, find the seam for this. And 
pull that out. So that's an easy patch job. Um, the cool thing, it's down below. It's really hard to find. It's out of the way. It's kind of out of sight. But that's how we're going to patch it up. So I'm not really concerned about this. If I really wanted to, I could have just cut this out and it will still be fine. But we're fine with that right now. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do the hatch. This is kind of the gen basic, super basic wrap job, guys. So, you know, if you guys are going to have questions, I don't have many answers. Like I said, I'm not a professional, you know, vinyl wrapper. So I know I'm going to get the comments. It's like, oh, why'd you do it this way? Why'd you do it that way? Well, number one, if you guys are going to ask, well, you know why. This is like, I said, I'm not good at doing this. I'm just, I know how to do it. Just not a pro. But that looks really good. There's really, really good results. I'm really happy with that. Um, like I said, there's little little hiccups here and there, but I think at the end it's going to be very difficult to see that, which is, in my part, perfect. The less mistakes that are not obvious, the better. You, that means you did a good job. <laughs> that came out really good. Yeah, it did. So now we're doing the roof, and we're going to do it the same way we did the hood. We're going to go in sections. So we peel back the material, then cut the paper out, and then we're going to roll it back. When we pull the material over, when you guys get over to this part, cut the hole from the top of the fin to the front of it only. And that way it will give you the slack that you need to get around it, and then cut the, cut the rest of it out, okay? So with your friend, pull. Make sure you pull nice and snug, and then, oh man, do you have your felt with you or no? I got mine. Here's yours. Okay. Try not to let this lay flat, and then just start, like, pulling this. Now what you want to do is kind of go down, straight down the middle, like that. That way you have a, a starting point. And then start going over. I do it in halves mainly because I'm just not that good at doing these. So this is just kind of like my safety blanket. Just wait, Harvey. I'll get to it. See right there, that's already a quarter of the rear portion, and just keep doing it along the way. But remember, you gotta you gotta keep it nice and tight.
make our way to the middle where the fin is at. And this is where it becomes difficult because you have an odd shape in the middle and it's really not the best thing to squeegee. So we'll show you guys what to do next. Let me try to solve this little predicament right now. So just like the hood, you're gonna go in sections like we did. The only thing that we came across was a big issue was here. Uh, this thing pretty much ended up snagging and when we started laying the material down, it pulled the material too much so we had to cut it. So we're gonna try to figure out how to make this line straight so it looks good. But you guys can see that there. Um, if you guys are going to do a roof, make sure the owner removes the uh, shark fin prior to doing this. <laughs> I'm giving them shit. But everything else though came out really, really nice. Um, you'll see here, the wrap job here did really well. Same with over here. So we're pretty happy with that. So we're going to keep working later. We'll be showing you more of the DIY. So stay tuned.